As part of efforts to reduce high rate of maternal infant mortality and child mobi morbidity, the Kaduna State Government, in collaboration with the Center for Integrated Health Programs and Group Antenatal Care Project, has trained over 1,428 health workers in the 23 local government areas of the state. The aim of the program is to bring pregnant women together to take care of themselves in groups rather than as individuals. Our correspondent, Habila Dorafai's report is presented from our studios. Over the years, the maternal and infant mortality and lack of access to primary health care has become one of the major challenges in the country. This has led to several deaths of pregnant women without good knowledge of antenatal care services that must be addressed urgently to reduce maternal death in the 21st century. Speaking of the presentation of Fact Sheet in Kaduna, the State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Amina Mohamed Baloni, said over 309,751 pregnant women were enrolled in the GANC intervention in 23,220 cohorts. Natal is important for us to, to pick out who is potentially going to have a problem. Um, whether the child or the mother, uh, and follow them and track them to make sure that we ha they have safe delivery. So it's not the pregnancy, it's taking the pregnancy to a safe delivery. The technical director of the Center for Integrated Health Program, Dr. Francis Ogirima, said they have supported the state government, scaled up other health facilities to reduce high rates of maternal mortality. Other speakers say the model has been impactful is to add a new arsenal into the ammunition to fight maternal mortality in Nigeria. We know that every year Nigeria loses 40 to 50,000 women you know, due to childbirth. So these are initiatives that have been approved by and recommended by WHO for improving maternal and, child, maternal and child health outcomes. So we implemented this. It brings women of the same gestational age together to exchange ideas and improve their own care. Already been scaled up, okay, from the health facilities where it was originally implemented to other facilities. It's going to be scaled up to all the primary health care facilities in the state and even to the uh, secondary health care facilities so that every pregnant woman in the state will actually um, undergo the group antenatal care program. The director, Family and Community Health Care Primary Board, says the program has provided a modern way for women to access health care. We have been supported in Kaduna State to have up to 485 facilities to be conducting the group ANC sessions. And uh, we have trained over 1,400 uh, healthcare personnel. It is hoped that the program will improve maternal and child health to ensure no woman dies at childbirth in the state. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.